one I like to call the cheater double wrist lock. I'm here and here. My arms are quite extended. But I can still, if I can rotate the elbow enough, I can sometimes get a finish. But really, I shouldn't expect for that. If his hand's out here, I can work my way to it, right? I don't want to let him get this thing back. I worked, I put all this effort to get a hold of this wrist in the first place. Right, his hand's out here. Well, the arm's not straight. It's okay, I can get to here. Now fold it in. Or pick him up, pick up the shoulder, walk him towards it. Now, I gotta do this very carefully because often what happens is they start to roll their wrist and then they pile all that weight right into the wrist. So I can't finish my hold. All I did was walk Carl to it, right? Because if I try to bend it, it's gonna be tough. Why is it all so tough? Because I'm fighting the floor and his hand at the same time. I can't push through the floor. I'm not that strong. Nobody is. So I pick him up and move him to where I need it to be. But then again, the hand, like I said, it often has a tendency to roll and buckle on the wrist. So careful. It's great when you're in competition, you start mashing somebody's wrist to pieces and then cranking their arm. But when you're just trying to demo stuff, it makes you a dick. <laughs> so don't do that.